So I can't believe I'm actually making this video because I thought I had covered everything there really was to say on this topic, but y'all have had a lot of questions. So today I'm actually going to be talking about USPS media mail once again. Stay tuned to hear all of your questions answered. Hi, I'm MK Williams. I'm an author and independent publisher. I love sharing all things about self-publishing, making a career out of being an author, and now being a mompreneur with you. Before I get started into today's topic, please take a moment to hit the subscribe button below. That way you can be here every week as I release new videos on all things self-publishing and making a career out of being an author. Okay, so many of you actually may be watching this who have no interest in being an author, but maybe you are an artist, a documentarian, um, you may be a self-published author, you may be an indie author, maybe you're a traditionally published author, but you've heard something about USPS Media Mail, maybe you've even watched my other video on the topic, um, and let me just say, when I recorded this video about USPS Media Mail, I expected it to be as exciting as it sounds. Um, it's something about the post office, you know, it's just this very specific thing. Um, and I thought all authors kind of already knew about it. Um, so I did a series of videos about how to sell your books direct to readers. Um, and one of the big questions of course comes up is, well, how do you ship them? And can't that be expensive? And USPS media mail is a really inexpensive way of sending your books if you're in the United States. Um, so I put out the video and surprisingly, uh, you guys really watched it and had a lot of questions. So today, um, I'm I'm actually taking the time to answer those questions that I've been getting on a video. I've been in the comments answering questions as they've been coming in, but there have been a lot that have showed up over and over. So I wanted to take the time to really break down for you again, what is media mail? What are the rules? What can um, and can't you do? Um, and also kind of reiterating that I'm not the postmaster general. I don't work for the post office. I have no affiliation with them. So if you're looking for me for permission to break the rules, um, I one, can't grant you that. Two, don't break the rules. Um, and three, you know, th this is just how it's stated and it, there isn't a lot of detail on it. Um, and so the rules are pretty clear in some ways, but also there's probably some room for interpretation based on whoever may or may not be inspecting your package. So with that, I'm going to dive into the questions today on USPS media mail. Okay, so what is media mail? So the USPS defines media mail as shipping media items containing books, sound recordings, recorded videotapes, printed music, recorded computer readable media such as CDs and DVDs. So for you, again, if you're an author, if you are a music artist, if you're a documentarian, um, if you, again, are writing music, printed music, um, these, this is a really great service for you uh, and you get a discounted rate on your postage. So if I was just sending toys or clothes um, or something like that, that isn't deemed to be in the special classification, I have to pay the regular postage rate. But if I'm stripping something that qualifies as media mail, I get the discounted rate. Um, the whole point of this designation is that these materials are deemed as educational, um, which you could argue is almost any book could be educational. Um, you could also argue that some books aren't as educational, um, but the USPS wants educational materials to be able to be sent without prohibitive costs, right? Because if the costs are too high, those materials either don't get made or they don't get sent um, and the education stops. Um, now, some of the rules here are that it has to be one of these um, specified items. Um, it can take up to 10 business days um, to get the item there. So if you need to get it to an influencer or somebody right away, mm, you definitely want to use a different uh, mail class for that. Um, you can't put any advertisements or cards in those items. That can only be your educational material that's going in there. Um, so if you want to mail a book, um, something promoting your channel or your website can't go in there. Um, if you're mailing a CD, you can't be putting in all these leaflets or band merch or things like that. It has to just be the CD. Same thing if it's a DVD, you can't be putting in all these other gimmies. It has to just be that educational material. Otherwise, it violates the rule. Um, now, when you send something media mail, you are agreeing that the USPS can open and inspect the package to make sure you are following the rules. Um, one of the specific things that got called out, um, that I called out last time on the video with their list of of items that are included in this designation are all books, but it does exclude comic books. I don't know why they made this distinction in the rule. Um, I don't know why they're saying comic books aren't educational. There are some that I think are probably more educational than certain books, um, but that's the rule with USPS. I didn't make the rule. Please don't hate on the video for that. 
Okay, so here are some of the questions that people had coming back from that designation. Um, and I saw these questions come up enough that I definitely wanted to address them in this video. So uh, the first question that, that I came up that I saw often was, can I put a thank you sticker on the outside of the package? Um, yes, 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 you can. Um, so if it's just one of those easy stickers, you can just get them online. Um, again, this is the type of envelope that I personally use, um, but you can go onto like Amazon or Walmart or really anywhere online and you can get like a big circle or whatever shape sticker you want that says thank you or it can even have your brand stuff on it. That's fine because it's on the outside of the package. Um, and we'll talk more about packaging in a moment. But yeah, you can get that. You can just buy the generic ones. You can get custom made ones, whatever you would like. You can do that. Thank you sticker on the outside of the package. Um, now, the next question that I get um, a lot was, but I really want to put a thank you note in the package. Will it be inspected? So again, this goes back to my disclaimer of I do not work for the USPS. I do not have any control over what they do. When you agree to the terms of media mail, you agree that they might inspect your package. So you're taking a risk that if the package is inspected and if that postal carrier finds the card and if they interpret that as breaking the rules, your package will be discarded. So the risk is up to you. Personally, I say don't break the rules. It's not worth it um, because then your package isn't going to get there. Um, the person that you're sending it to definitely isn't going to get that nice note from you. They're not even going to get the right the regular package um, and things like that. So I'd say if it's really important to you to get that package there with a nice card, with a nice thank you for that specific package, pay the normal postage rate. Don't break the rules um, for other ones where you're just sending them out. Um, it's okay to do that. Now, within um, the USPS parlance, so I was able to find on stamps.com and their definition of it, they do say that you can put like the one sheet. So like say you're sending a book to Barnes & Noble or your local bookstore for consideration for them to do a bulk order, you can put that like informational one sheet of this is the ISBN, this is a distributor, um, this is the brief description, how to contact for more information for shipping, that can go in there for that specific reason. I did see that on stamps.com. It wasn't on USPS though. Um, so double check with your mail carrier when you arrive and just say this is in here per, you know, what I saw online um, to make sure that's okay. All right. So the next question that I got was, can you autograph the book? Yes, you can. So, um, and again, that would also apply for like your CDs, your DVD, things like that. You can autograph it. That's totally fine. Um, it's not promotional. It's literally just your name. Cool. All right. Do I have to use an envelope? Can I use a box? What kind of envelope do I have to use? Is there a specific envelope to use when sending media mail? So I got a bunch of different questions all along the same vein with packaging. So I have my whole little treasure trove of packaging supplies over here that I'm going to review with you. So for me personally, me, MK Williams personally, I use these plain Jane Manila padded envelopes. There's no specific requirement from USPS as to what kind of packaging you have to use or can't use. I personally like the padded bubble mailers um, because I want that extra protection for the book. Um, so it's not just, um, you know, I don't want the edges to get dinged, but it's also, it's plastic lined. So, you know, if there's a snowstorm or a rainstorm the day that my package is sitting on somebody's front porch, um, it's not going to ruin the book. Um, now, I would say if you're sending a CD or DVD, again, I like this as well because you don't want that to crack or break. Um, but yeah, I, I personally like the padded mail. You do not have to use this. You could use a plain manila envelope that isn't padded. You could go and order the fancy sparkly colored padded envelopes or regular envelopes. If you go on Amazon, there's like a, a zillion different designs. You can get like shiny silver, shiny blue, shiny pink. Also, these are super expensive on Amazon. I go on Walmart to get these ones because Amazon has all the pretty colored ones, but not these plain Jane ones. I'm a plain Jane girl, so I go to Walmart to get these. Um, so this is the one that I use. Um, now, some people um, you know, have asked, well, do I have to use that one? You don't. You could just take basic brown packaging paper and wrap your box, wrap your book, whatever. Um, it doesn't have to be. Um, I'm going to give you a few caveats based on my experience, but this is not a USPS stated rule. So unless you want to ship something via priority mail, don't use anything that says priority mail on it um, because the, the rate is assigned based on that so you can't put your book in a priority mail bubble mailer and say oh but I want this to be media mail it doesn't work like that it says priority mail it goes at the priority mail rate um, so anything like that just make sure you're using um, the envelopes that aren't marked priority mail now you can get basic manila 
they're actually more brown envelopes from the postal service um, like when you go into your post office you can pick those up um, so you just have to pay for the envelope as well as the postage um, they have those there that don't say priority mail so if you just need like one or two things to be sent you can get them from USPS again I get mine from Walmart um, they're super inexpensive um, but again if it says priority mail on it and you don't want to send it priority mail don't use it um, okay and then the second question that I got and I saw quite a lot was on like these large bulk shipments right so either you're sending multiple packages or you're sending multiple books multiple cds to one person um so can boxes be used yes absolutely you can use a box you can use just a plain box you can repurpose an amazon box just cover up the branding um you can repurpose any boxes that you have um now in my case if i had an order of like five or six hardcover copies of the infinite infinite that i needed to send out okay so i would put them in a box that box is pretty heavy so media mail is based on weight um, of the book right it's very discounted but it's based on weight so in certain cases I may actually come out ahead using the priority mail box which is a flat rate if it fits it ships for my very heavy hardback books versus media mail so you can definitely price that out um, to find out if what would work best for you but I would think if it's that heavy of a box right it has a lot of books in it that's a really high retail value that's a lot of inventory value to me that I would not want to lose or that I may want to get there pretty quickly if somebody's doing a big enough order okay I want to make sure you get your books on time. Um, I want to make sure they get there fast. Um, I may just use priority mail in that case because I don't want to deal with the wearing of did it get there? Did it get inspected? What's going on? What's happening? I just want it to get there. So it's up to you. Again, the whole purpose of media mail is to make things less expensive for us creators, artists, um, to get our educational materials out there. Um, so, you know, I wouldn't do that every time, but if there was a big enough order, I would definitely just use priority mail instead. It's not a hard and fast rule that I have of I have to use media mail every single time. I end up using it almost all the time, um, but there have been a few cases where I was sending out books, review copies, things like that, where I was like, this is a priority influencer. I want them to get this book right away. I don't want to risk it getting lost. I want to put a note in it, something like that. I'm, I'm sending it priority mail instead, and I'm okay with that additional cost. Okay, so the next question that I saw a couple times was, can I use a shipping label? Do I have to handwrite the address? So you can absolutely use a shipping label that you've created online. Um, I've done mine by hand because I like the personal touch. Um, but if you have bad handwriting, you know, you can definitely print it out. If you have a USPS or a stamps.com account, you can pay for the postage online, print out the label and schedule a pickup. It's super easy. Um, if you're doing a lot of media mail shipments, this is probably your best route. I've actually gone into the post office before with 60 different packages to send media mail and they weren't happy about it but you know what nobody else was there so get over it I'm giving you my business um and if you want to get a four-week free trial with stamps.com to try this out for your media mail shipments and support this channel I actually have a link at the bottom in the description where you can sign up for that free trial check it out um if not that's cool too Okay, and then the final thing was clarification on romance novels, comic books, like why are comic books excluded? Like I write romance, you know, for the authors on the channel who are like, well, I write romance books. I don't think they're educational unless, you know, they're educating you in that way. Um, why is this some things included? Why are some things excluded? So my answer here is like, I don't make the rules UPS did, or sorry, USPS did, not UPS. Um, I don't make the rules USPS did. I have no say whatsoever on whether they may or may not change things in the future. Um, several of you watched the last video and were frustrated that your media, you know, comic books were included. Um, I, I feel your frustration for you. I'm so sorry. Um, others were glad that their steamy romances were included, even if, you know, it's not educational as far as like school learning. It's, you know, educational maybe in other ways. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if some of these designations change in the future, but my guess is that this is just one of many programs that the USPS offers. You know, they're not book publishing experts. They just needed to make sure that the package complies with the existing rules and it was probably easier just to like put a line in the sand than have the people who are doing the inspections go through and be like well what kind of book is this how is it this kind of romance or this kind of romance like that's too much fun to figure out they're very busy they process a lot of mail so I think that kind of covered all of the questions I was seeing coming up on the last video. Um, if there are more questions, by all means, please continue to drop them in the comments on this video, on the other video. 
if I have to make another media mail video, so be it. Um, but I hope you found this really helpful if this is something you're considering to save you money when you're shipping your books, your CDs, your DVDs, all you documentarians out there, all you artists out there, all you authors out there. This is a really great program that can save you money and can hopefully make your author business or your um CD business or your DVD business or whatever it is more viable um, and make that more profitable for you. So definitely let me know if you have any questions below. If you found this information helpful, it would mean a lot to me if you give this video a thumbs up. It'll get it in front of other authors um, and other people who need to use media mail like us. Now you can get back to writing your book. Hey, if you want to continue to support this channel and my other creative work, please head over to buymeacoffee.com and support my channel. You can buy me one coffee, three, five, ten, or you can even get a membership. Those who are in the membership are actually going to be included in the acknowledgments pages of all of my published books moving forward as a big thank you. And you can even get some additional options to get an Instagram thank you post shout out or a shout out in an upcoming video. Thank you so much for supporting this channel.